Well, I suppose sort of the, the recent data out of China has generally been very weak. If you're talking about over uh, the last three or four months, uh, we've started to see some stabilization in, in economic data, PMIs, and obviously the export data as well. Um, I think that the general bias is that we'll probably see uh, gradual further easing measures coming from the authorities uh, amidst uh, f pretty poor data, um, and that should be enough to stabilize the economy. So um, that's the big picture, China becoming less of a negative uh, but not a, a significant positive for global growth. Uh, inflation data is expected to bottom, um, but we don't believe that's going to be significant enough to uh, warrant a, a, a pause in the easing cycle. Well, I, I suppose it, you know, if we're looking at uh, Chinese equity markets, we've seen you know, uh, underperformance for, for an extended period, um, and a lot of the bad news may already be priced in. So we wouldn't be getting too bearish at this point. Clearly, the key uncertainty for the market is what's ha going to happen to the banks, uh, given rising non-performing loans, and are we going to see recapitalization, recapitalization of those banks? Um, but you know, if you're looking at dividend yields in the 5 to 6% region, um, then I think investors may well take the view of saying, well, at those dividend yields, I can wait a, a reasonable length of time before worrying about whether I'm going to see capital appreciation. So limited downside and probably a slight upside for the Chinese index overall.